All right, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna talk to you about my long-term review of the 24 inch iMac. Um, I've had this iMac for about a year um, and it's just the 24 inch iMac with the M1 chip. I have eight gigabytes of memory, which is really low for all the video editing that I use. And this is my primary machine. Um, I, I have eight gigabytes, I have the 256 um, gigabyte SSD. And the thing is, I, I pretty much put all my, um, all my YouTube videos and all my content on like an external SSD that's really fast. And then uh, what I do is after I finish creating my videos, I export them to my NAS, which has about 12 gigabytes on it. So I don't really use my computer for hard drive space. And I feel like 256 gigabytes for most people is, I mean, it's not great, but it's, completely doable and if you're on a budget like it's completely fine so do I recommend do I still recommend this this uh, computer like absolutely like the m1 iMac has been great for me um, I, I am actually thinking about upgrading just because I found a really really good deal on the the m1 MacBook Pro but what I just want to kind of talk to you about is right now I'm editing on a daily basis, I'm using the a7 IV. Um, I'm using it for photography. I'm using it for Lightroom. No issue whatsoever. Um, I'm also doing like HEVC, like I'm using H.265 video formats. And like editing on DaVinci Resolve, like there's a tiny little bit of a hiccup, but it's not that big of an issue. And if you're using like another format like h.264 it's a complete breeze like it's just like it's amazing how well this this computer does um compared to my my previous 2017 uh 5k imac now what are the differences between using like a 27 inch monitor and the 24 inch monitor i would say it's not that big if you bring the monitor up close to you um you're not going to notice a huge difference. Uh, so I'm actually like an ergonomic specialist. So you actually want your monitor like, like my monitor's right here in front of me. You want it like an arm length away from you, which is about 18 inches. And that's actually like more than enough viewing distance than, than what you, like a 27 inch monitor is, is almost actually too big for, for our, our viewing distance. So I actually prefer, prefer the 24 inch monitor. And I think I would actually, like to have dual monitors and i really wish that apple would make a 24 inch 4k monitor for this reason because this monitor is so good i mean it's just like the 5k monitor that i had before and i think that if you had like another 24 inch monitor it would increase your screen real estate and it would be perfect for video editing so I want to say like I feel like 24 inches is the perfect size and if I had like dual monitors with a 27 inch monitor I almost feel like that's too big because you're straining your neck a lot like turning back and forward and I feel like the 24 inch monitor is like the perfect size um, speed it's super fast it's zippy um, it's there's I don't really have a lot of cons the only thing is sometimes I have a little bit of glitching when I'm shooting in H.265 two six five and I wish I got the 16 gigabytes with RAM but I mean I've been able to do as long as I don't open too many programs eight gigabytes of RAM is completely fine I just have to like always remember like okay don't have too many programs open don't open DaVinci Resolve and Photoshop and Lightroom at the same time um, I can usually get away with opening like two and that's why I'm gonna upgrade and the main reason is just because I found like a smoking deal on the new iMac uh, MacBook Pro. So anyway, this is my long-term review. I think this, I, I almost wish it had, you could spec this out a little bit faster and I'm sure that's gonna happen soon. Um, I feel like the ideal monitor for me still would probably be a 27 inch just because it would be a little, I don't know. I would, I would almost say like if I had this, monitor and another 4k 4k monitor like if apple came out with another 4k 24 inch monitor i feel like that would be ideal rather than having a 20 inch 27 inch monitor but if apple doesn't come out with another 24 inch 5k monitor i would probably want like a 27 inch imac or 
27 inch screen just so I can have just something a little bit larger when doing video editing. But overall, it's been awesome. Like I have no complaints for using it for photography or video editing. And that's pretty much all I'm doing right now. So anyway, that is my long-term review. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.